guys, welcome to my channel Flying Up and Down. Today I'd like to share my trip to Asheville, North Carolina when I took this adorable mixed pop Neville to his new family. This trip was about 340 nautical miles one way on a very cloudy slash snowy day. I will share more details about the flight later in this video. Neville's previous owner met us at our home-based airport and dropped him off. Neville seemed really scared when he first met me. He actually bit my hand when I was settling him in the backseat of the plane. He probably didn't understand what was going on and confused to be flying with me and Zeev while his family is outside not going with him. That's one of the moments where I really really wish I could speak to the dogs in their language that everything is fine and I am only trying to help them out but I can't, so I just did what I could and I tried my best to make him feel comfortable. So I bought a GoPro and audio adapter recently because I wanted to start recording cockpit audio. It was my first time to try the GoPro on a flight, but I found out that I recorded everything under this time red mode and no sound was recorded. In addition, all the motions were recorded like 8 times faster than the actual, so that's why you guys are watching me chew in my speed literally. family it almost seems like he already knew that they are his new family my shoulder felt so much lighter to go back home knowing that he will have a great life in North Carolina Aww. with his new family though Steve kept telling me that Neville simply didn't like me and that's why he bit me oh well whatever the reason was I still adore you Neville be happy okay let's talk about the fight now the weather wasn't perfect that day. Well, going to Asheville wasn't too bad. We had to fly up and down to avoid the clouds, but overall we managed to avoid most of the clouds. We ended up getting a little bit of ice on the leading edge of the wings, but it was so light I could only see it when I landed and checked the airplane. However, the weather actually got worse on our way back. That's why we had to return immediately after we dropped off Neville. We filed IFR plan for 9,000 feet to be over the top of the clouds but we were still in IMC at 9,000 and we gained some ice climbing and our pedal tube clogged multiple times so I had to leave the pedal heat the whole time. Also, we had to request ATC to assign us different altitudes multiple times. It was my very first encountering icy condition. To be honest with you, I was really scared to see how fast an airplane get, can get ice on a wing. Getting closer to DC area, finally the sky started to clear the way for us and we made back home safe and sound. I think 
What threw me off that day the most was how Mitar can be so different from actual ceiling. According to the Mitar and Taf, the ceiling and roof were supposed to be way higher, but it wasn't accurate at all. If I had known the condition was going to be like that, I would have rescheduled the flight for sure. At least I am so glad that I was flying with someone who has more than 20 years of flying experience and Ziv and I managed to fly back safely. Thank you.